In between crosswalks and pedestrian signs, Duke Energy crews installed several LED lights to better illuminate Ferguson Road in front of Western Hills High School. It all comes after four CPS students were hit this month and more than a dozen in the last year. When I felt the impact, I felt like I did roll on top of the car, but then after I felt like I was floating and then I hit the ground. Lauren Wainscott was hit by a car in a crosswalk as she was leaving Western Hills High School back in May. While she was not seriously injured, she says the school and the city should have taken action faster. It's just dangerous, honestly. More things need to happen than what they say, what they say that they're doing. Lauren's mom, Jenny Foley, says no parent should have to get that call. She says the brighter lights will help, but more needs to be done. Some speed humps or speed bumps or something in that area would be vital to, you know, at least slowing traffic down to where this doesn't happen as much. Parents and students who live near West High say crossing guards are what's really needed. The better that people can see, the better it is for the safety of the people that are crossing back and forth in the street. So that makes me happy to hear that somebody's actually taking initiative to make it safer on these streets out here. What we need is crossing guards up here. Just because we older don't mean that all of us can cross the street. We still need help crossing the street. The Cincinnati Public School District says it is working with the Cincinnati Police Department to hire and train more crossing guards. Several council members have also pushed for this added layer of protection. Mike. All right, Emily.